San Bernardino, California, the Northwest Regional Elimination Game between Oregon and Idaho here at Al Houghton Stadium for the Little League World Series. A 9 a.m. first pitch to get our day started. We take a look at the teams that are joining us here at this six-team Northwest Regional. Sammamish, Washington is already on to the semifinals, as well as Billings, Montana. Cody, Wyoming awaits the winner of this game between Lake Oswego and Eagle, Idaho. And unfortunately, Eagle River, Alaska, while qualifying for this tournament, did not play a game due to a positive COVID test. This is the field at a glance. Washington only played one game, but they pick up the automatic win because they would have played Alaska in their second round game. Montana, one win there in the semis. Idaho, Wyoming, winner stays, loser goes home. Or excuse me, Idaho and Oregon with Wyoming waiting on deck to face the winner. This is the Little League World Series on ESPN presented by T-Mobile. I'm Eric Rothman, happy to be here with you in San Bernardino as Oregon will be up to the plate first here in our opening game of the day. Ellis Bain, Chase Kelly, Ben Robertson lead things off. Ethan Euchre is at first base. Crew Corey is short. Luke Smith, the center fielder. Followed by Ezra Carlston, Beckett Hare, and Cole Sturgeon. On the mound for Idaho is Parker Shea, representing West Valley Little League. Out of Eagle, Idaho, just outside of Boise. And Shea will be dealing with Ellis Bain to start things off. And a strike called by home plate umpire Ramey Brown. Who's behind the dish? Brown today, joined by an all volunteer umpiring crew of Joey Tigner at first, Ralph Metz at second, and Darren Leggett at third base. Up and in for a ball one and one. It'll be interesting to monitor the pitching staff of this Idaho team as we move throughout the afternoon. It is the third game in 48 hours, less than 48 hours for Idaho. They won their first game against Wyoming 13 to three. That was on Sunday. Then they lost yesterday in heartbreaking fashion in the afternoon game. They walk off wild pitch victory for Montana, six to five. And so now they're playing again today, the 9 a.m. game against Oregon, who hasn't played since Sunday after they lost to Washington in the opening round. And because of the pitching limitations based on how many pitches are thrown. Idaho has three ineligible pitchers today, including their starters from games one and two, Cole Morgan and Cole Keck. Sam Paul Freeman also ineligible, who pitched a couple innings in relief yesterday in the loss to Montana. So Parker Shea, as you see Keck behind the dish as a catcher today, Morgan over at second base. Shea, who pitched an inning of relief in game number one, is still eligible oh, yeah. uh, as he misses up and in two and two. Defensively behind Shea, I mentioned Keck, the catcher. Chase Casagrande at short. Brazil, or excuse me, at third. Colin Brazil is at short. Cole Morgan at second. Sam Paul Freeman at first. Ground ball right back to Parker Shea. Walks it over to Paul Freeman for out number one. In the outfield, Michael Went. Michael Went is in left. Ben Borowski is in center field, and Zane Gar getting the start in right today. The winner will play Cody Wyoming on Wednesday night on ESPN Plus. If Idaho would, were to win, that would be a rematch in a game that Idaho won 13 to three on Sunday. And we'll get into the scheduling quirks a little bit more as this game progresses because. You could argue that Idaho would have actually been better off losing game one, given the fact that there's a hole in the schedule because of the disqualification of Alaska. Chase Kelly takes a strike on the outside corner, one and one. Because we were missing that one team, there were some teams that benefited, like Washington, who won their opening game and then immediately advanced to the semifinals. And then there are some teams that, well, maybe didn't benefit from Alaska being disqualified. And you could argue that Idaho is that, that team having played their third game now in less than 48 hours. And the team that they beat in 
round one, sitting and waiting for them to take on the winner of this game. So that Washington team in the stands, they've had a lot of time to kill since winning on Sunday. They don't play again until Thursday night on ESPN. Team from East Lake Washington, a 5-0 win over Oregon. Game number one, Sanaf Chari, the big lefty, mowing down seven of the ten batters he faced in strikeout fashion to close out that game. 2-2 count on Chase Kelly, who is the starting pitcher for Oregon today. And Robertson do up behind him. I mentioned the three ineligible pitchers due to pitch count for Idaho. Robertson is the one ineligible pitcher for Oregon as he was the starter in the loss against Washington and still requires another day of rest. Kelly draws the walk, and he is the first base runner of the day. Morgan, team from Lake Oswego, just outside of Portland. About 40,000 people live there. And a team that has bred good Little League players over the years, including famous names like Kevin Love and Clay Thompson. Ben Robertson trying to join that list as he takes strike number one from Parker Shea. And get some good salmon up there in the Pacific Northwest. And Robertson enjoys the fine dining. One one count on Robertson here with Kelly waiting at first base. Late strike call, but a strike call nonetheless from Ramey Brown, the home plate umpire, one and two. Robertson, they call him base hit Benny. Down in the count, one, two here. That one skips in and Chase Kelly skips his way to second base. The 2-2. Catches the outside corner for a punch out. First K of the day for Parker Shea. And there's two away. Boy, a rhyming kind of mood this morning. Oregon, it's the walk to Chase Kelly as their first base runner of this game. They did not have a whole lot of opportunities in the game against Washington. Only one hit in that six inning loss to a team from East Lake. East, Ethan Euchre, cleanup hitter. One one count on Euchre. Runner in scoring position, that's Chase Kelly behind the pitcher, Parker Shea. Well, this Idaho team is hoping for some quick innings to preserve their arms. Line drive, base hit. Kelly, now the ball scoots past Borowski, so it would have been a tight play at the plate had Borowski come up throwing. But instead, an error in center field leads to the score and a 1 0 early lead here for Oregon. Euchre with the frozen rope in the center field. Brings up Crew Corey who lays down a bunt. It's a good one. And he's out. Oh, I don't know. That might get. And actually, they're going to pitch hit for Luke Smith. So Smith is not going to get a chance to bat. It'll be Nathan Cook. Early substitution for manager Chris Kelly. And again, we have the mandatory play requirements that ensure every player gets into the game. It's a chance to make their mark here in San Bernardino.
conference between the umpires. Unsure as to what the conversation is about. Uh, we'll review our mandatory player requirements in the interim. If you have 13 or more players, every player has to bat once. If you have 12 or fewer, every player must play six consecutive defensive outs and bat once. Manager's failure or refusal to insert players shall result in immediate rejection without replacement for the remainder of the tournament. So it'll be Nathan Cook batting in the sixth spot, first and third for Oregon. Two outs here at the top of the first. First pitch in the dirt from Parker Shea. Parker's had to wait a long time in between pitches through the challenge and the change in the lineup. A good five, six minutes. Right called on the outside corner, one and one. Parker threw one inning in relief. Yeah, win against Wyoming. And the count one and two here to Nathan Cook. Shea trying to get out of the jam. Just misses. Shea a little discouraged, shaking his head there. A very close pitch. Not sure where that one missed. Here's the 2 2. As Cook stays alive. Cook, an avid hockey player as well as baseball player. So you like to win the World. Little League World Series and then become a pro hockey player. Three and two. And there is a model for that career path. Chris Drury did it. Long time NHL player, now the general manager of the New York Rangers. And the Little League World Series champion. It's the 3 2 to Cook. Strike three called on the outside corner. Another punch out for Parker Shea as Oregon strands two. Borowski, Morgan, and Colin Brazil lead it off for Idaho. Key to start things off. Kelly has appeared in the tournament already. An inning and two-thirds in the opening round game against Washington. Gave up a run. One, uh, no hits, I should say. Two strikeouts and three walks. Called strike. One and one to Borowski. Borowski is the son of manager Don Borowski over there at third base. Opposite field, liner right at Ethan Euchre for out number one. The batter, number 14, Morgan. Had some pop on it. Just directionally challenged as it went right at the first baseman, Ethan Euchre, for out number one. Here's Cole Morgan. I mentioned Morgan, the game one starter for Idaho. That was on Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately for Idaho, he is ineligible to pitch here today due to the amount of pitches he threw in that game. One and one, the count on him. It's Forrest Gump is his favorite movie, and the Seattle Seahawks, his favorite team, looks up to DK Metcalf. 
Breaking ball, swing and a miss. Good stuff from chasing Chase Kelly as he's ahead in the count one, two. Third game in less than 48 hours for Idaho. Swing and a miss and strikeout number one for Chase Kelly. As Cole Morgan goes down, there's two away. Kelly brought the heat with that one. Went upstairs and got Morgan chasing. That was a tough loss for Idaho yesterday afternoon against Montana as Colin Brazil steps into the left-handed batter's box. They led most of that game. Gave up two runs in the bottom of the fifth inning. Montana tied it. And then Jackson King singled in the bottom of the sixth. Stole second and third on a wild pitch and then stole home on another wild pitch to end the game. 0-2 oh the count on Brazil. Brazil. Dad Chris, Mom Danielle is an associate athletic director at the College of Idaho. The College of Idaho baseball coaches have gotten a beat on Colin already. Starting the scouting early. Kelly ahead, one, two. Breaking ball, called third strike. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Chase Kelly. A one, two, three inning for Chase. And Oregon back up to the plate, up by one. It's to family and friends for these teams here. A limited capacity crowd due to COVID this year. It's the bottom third of the lineup due up here in the top of the second for Oregon. Ezra Carlston, Beckett Hare, and Cole Sturgeon are due up. And instead of Ezra Carlston, it'll be Jackson Kittler. It's an interesting strategy for manager Chris Kelly. You have the mandatory play requirements. You have to get everybody into the game, get their at-bats. He's electing to use them really early here. First pitch swinging for Kale. Scooped up by Brazil, but he lost it. The throw not nearly in time. And that is the second error for this Idaho defense here. Taylor reaches, pitch hit, error committed by Colin Brazil. Beckett Hare, the third baseman, steps in. First pitch swinging there, a chance at two, and it's through the legs of Morgan. Back-to-back -back errors by this middle infield. And Beckett Hare is on. Parker Shea, two routine grounders that he induced on two pitches. And he has no outs to show for it. Boy, oh boy, for a team in Idaho that is struggling with pitching depth already coming into this game because of how many games they've played so far. You got to preserve Parker Shea's pitch count as much as you can. So the error by Brazil and the error by Morgan. This is Cole Sturgeon, the nine hitter. The Lake as we go. This is Billy Madison's my favorite movie. Why not? Who doesn't love a good Adam Sandler movie? Two and one to count on Sturgeon. Sturgeon, along with baseball, is training to become a fencer. Maybe training for the Paris Olympics, or maybe the Los Angeles Olympics, maybe seven years from now. Here's the 3-1. Grounder, foul. 
I really have no concept as to how long it takes to get good at fencing. But if you're 12 years old, and the next, see the LA Olympics would mean that Sturgeon is 19. That, that sounds about right. Seven years of practice. 19-year-old. All four. Base is loaded, nobody out here in the top of the second inning. And Parker Shea is going to get a visit out on the mound from Don Borowski. And my guess is Don is telling him, hey, listen, this isn't your fault. You got to calm down. Regroup here a little bit. Two errors behind you. That's not your problem. You got to let it go. Focus on the batter here. And the batter is leadoff hitter Ellis Bain. Grounded out to lead off this game. Colin Brazil, the first error. There at short, Cole Morgan had the ground ball by Beckett Harris. Squeaked through his legs. And then the walk to Sturgeon to load him up. No outs, space is juiced. Here's Bain. First pitch swinging, pop fly. Be an infield fly rule. Didn't see a sig signal. Cole Morgan goes out to make the play regardless. Cole Morgan, he is fighting the sun today with the best protection you could have. His ski goggles, I think he's going up to Big Bear later today, seeing if the ski slopes are open. Here's Chase Kelly. First pitch swinging for him, and he pops it up. Shallow left down the third base line. Brazil tried to go all the way from shortstop to make the play. It drops fair, and a run scores. A good effort by Brazil. Long way to go to try to make that play, and it's an RBI single for Chase Kelly. Brazil. A long trek. Lands fair. Carlston scores. First pitch of ball to Ben Robertson, who struck out in his first plate appearance. 2 0 lead now for Oregon with one out and the bases loaded. Hares at third, Sturgeon at second, Kelly at first for Robertson, the number three hitter in this lineup. 2 0. Robertson spending a lot of his quarantine time learning how to bake. See if he can cook up some RBIs here. It's a strike, one, two and one. Robertson's favorite major leaguer, Yadi Molina. Two, one. Strike two. Parker Shea battling out there. This is a tough inning for him. Should be out of it already. Instead, base is loaded with one out. Opposite field line drive, foul for Robertson. And Robertson with one swing of the bat here. Could put Idaho in a deep, deep hole. Ethan Euchre, the cleanup hitter, is on deck already with a single and an RBI in the first. Parker Shea up to 45 pitches now in the second inning. The 2 2 to Robertson. Liner past Casa Grande down the third baseline into left field. Two runs will score as Sturgeon slides in to make it 4 0 Oregon. A screamer in the left. No chance for Casa Grande. He was playing pretty well into the infield grass. It's a good throw by Michael Went, but Sturgeon slides in safely. And here is Ethan Euchre. Runners at second and third, and still just one out. 
Buker a single and an RBI in the first. Swings into high heater, one and one. So the inning started, an error, another error, and a walk. Since then, one out, two singles, and three runs scored for this Oregon team. Euchre looking for more. Takes a strike, one and two. Euchre has to battle here. He's been battling his whole life. Had a heart surgery when he was four years old. Healthy and helping his team out here. And that is a miscommunication. As Brazil and Morgan just looking at each other. The ball falls in between them, and the two middle infielders for Idaho have had a tough second inning. The Mark it down as a hit, but about as good as an error as you can have there. Crew Corey backed up to the plate. Big strike number one on the outside. Corey, an infield single and a bunt in the first. Now bases loaded, with one out here in the second. The eighth batter to the plate for Oregon. It's a comebacker right at Parker Shea. He gets the out at first, but another run scores. Chase Kelly makes it home. And it's 5-0. Oregon on top with two outs. Robertson advances the third, Euchre at second. Now Luke Smith, who was pitch hit for in the first inning, comes back in to make his first plate appearance. The ninth batter to hit against Parker Shea here in this second inning. Not only is Oregon out to a 5-0 lead, but thanks to the defensive woes of the Idaho team, they are really running up Shea's pitch count. Two out to Smith is a strike. Luke Smith has double jointed elbows. So when he stretches before a game, his teammates look away. They say it's not a pretty sight watching Luke Smith get ready for a ball game. He has a uh, future in Cirque du Soleil. Double jointed elbows just sounds unpleasant. 2 2. Count to Smith. 3 and 2 now. The 3-2 from Shea, swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. Ben Robertson, two RBI single in the second part of a four-run Oregon inning. They're up 5-0. everything that they've done to welcome the Little League World Series Northwest and West Regionals here this week and also the West Softball Regional a week and a half ago and everybody busy here in San Bernardino it's an elimination game today between Oregon and Idaho Oregon on top five to nothing here at the bottom of the second it was a one two three first for Oregon pitcher Chase Kelly and he will now face the middle of the Idaho lineup Cole Keck Chase Casagrande and Parker Shea do up as lefty Kelly stands in. First pitch swinging from Keck. He's down 0 1. Keck has been very versatile. We've seen him pitch, we've seen him catch. Good hitter. Trying to get some offense going for Idaho. No hits yet. Liner right at Crew Corey. I mentioned that 
the Little League Softball World Series was here a week and a half ago, and this was an all-dirt infield for that tournament. And this is what it took to get the infield sodded in just a week and a half and ready for play here for the Baseball World Series. Browns crew doing a great job. And the kids here can tell you just in awe of being able to play in this stadium. Chase Cas Casa Grande up with one out here in the bottom of the second. And the count 2 0. Oh. 11 year old Casa Grande, kids here in this tournament, ages 10 to 12. Rounder to the right side. Fielded by Cole Sturgeon for out number two. You want to see some girls with game? Tune into the excitement of the Little League Softball World Series. August 11th to the 18th and visit littleleaguesoftball.org for great content, information, and more about starting a softball league of your own. The World Series this year taking place in Greenville, North Carolina for the first time. First pitch swinging by Parker Shea, the pitcher, and that is through the gap in right center. Extra bases for Parker Shea. And Parker has honestly had to do it all himself on the mound through two innings and now trying to do it all himself at the plate, the first hit of the game for Idaho. Two out double for Parker. Good power on that one. He's in scoring position for Sam Paul Freeman, a resident dance guru here at the World Series. Change up, swing and a miss. And Paul Freeman, it's from what we saw yesterday, he's never met a camera he doesn't like. Cheesing for us, showing his dance moves over at first base. All around having a great time. Swing and a miss there as Kelly blows it by him. 0-2 now. <laughs> Kelly ahead here, 0-2. Here's the pitch. Slow roller, left side. Hair on the first for out number three. Another clean inning for Chase Kelly. And Oregon, they're back up to hit in the third. Some famous faces throughout the years that had played in Little League and had big dreams of their own. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, six-time NBA champ. Clay Thompson actually from Lake Oswego, Oregon area. Dick Vitale, basketball Hall of Famer and ESPN colleague, and Bill Belichick. That is an old-timey picture for Bill. Unclear as to what year that was. Bill looks good, judging by that picture. 
First pitch swinging for Ezra Carlson, and he is safe. Leadoff single for Carlston off the end of his bat. Carlston in his first at bat of the game. And we will have a pitch hitter here, Kel Vandehe. Will bat for Beckett Hare in the eighth spot. Line up for Oregon already up 5 0. That's another ground ball that has led to a base runner for Oregon as Parker Shea has really done a good job of keeping the ball in play and just hasn't gotten the help he needs. This might help. A chance at two, no. Lead runner is out at second. Kel Vandehe reaches on the fielder's choice over at first. One away. Sharp grounder. The flip from Brazil to Morgan. That's a pretty darn good turn for those two. And now we've got both managers out on the field. Pitch hitter for Oregon coming up. Don Borowski is having a chat. The first base umpire, Joey Tigner. So we are also going to have a challenge on the play. Challenge over at first. We take a look. And looks like Vandehe beat the throw. It's pretty close, but it does look like he's there before the mitt closes. Borowski wants the challenge. The call is safe at first. Believe it, based on the replay we saw, that the ruling will be confirmed and it will be a runner at first with one out here in the top of the third for Oregon. And we will have the pitch hitter for Oregon in the ninth spot. It's Ryan Warhank. Batting for Cole Sturgeon. So Warhank, the lefty, up with an out and a man on first. Takes a strike. Ryan and I share a favorite movie, Major League. Shows Bunt, lays it down in front of the catcher, Keck. Up with it, short-armed it, and threw it into right field. Throw over to third, not in time. That gets past Casa Grande, and another run scores. More defensive blunders for Ido. And again, Oregon takes advantage. Vandehe scores all the way from first on a bunt from Ryan Warhank. Not a bad bunt, not the greatest bunt in the world. Keck just, just short-armed the throw, and then Zane Gar trying to go to third base. That was ill-advised. And there's a line drive in left field for Ellis Bain. Here's the play at the plate. Out. Warhank cut down. At home for out number two. Good throw by Michael Went out there and left.
The batter, number 53, Faith Kelly. The relay from Colin Brazil. Two outs now for Chase Kelly. Kelly's third plate appearance. He's walked and singled, scored twice. The runner in scoring position is Ellis Bain. So maybe that'll boost the confidence of this Idaho defense that has struggled here today. Five errors. Good relay from Went to Brazil to Keck to get Warhank at the plate. Kelly has been spectacular on the mound so far, only allowing one hit through two innings of work. Strike call there to Kelly. 2-1 the count on him with Ellis Bain standing at second. All the runs scored for Oregon have been unearned. To give you an idea of the kind of day Parker Shea is having on the mound. As he issues the walk there, third time Kelly has been on base today. Here comes Big Ben Robertson, makes hit Benny. He's already got a two RBI single in his last plate appearance. Two ducks out on the pond now with two outs in the top of the third. Line drive, left field, base hit. The runners will stay put. And Robertson has another base knock. Robertson's hit the ball hard today. Turns on that one. Good job by Michael Went to get the ball back in quickly and ensure the runners didn't score. Parker Shea's day is done, 69 pitches. And you feel bad for Shea. There's no defensive help behind him. Five errors in the field. And they're going to bring in Michael Went out of left field in relief. And we will step aside for a moment. Oregon threatening up 6-0 in the third. Day for Parker Shea getting some consoling from first baseman Sam Paul Freeman. Two and two thirds, eight hits, two earned runs, five errors behind him in the field. He moves to second base now. And Michael Went comes in from left to pitch. Base is loaded, two outs. The batter, number 12, Ethan Euchre. For Ethan Euchre. 
Cole Morgan moves from second to left field. First pitch from Wendt. It was a strike on the inside corner to Euchre. He's got two singles and an RBI already. Fly ball, right field. Gar coming in. A diving catch made in right field for Zane Gar. What a play! Saves a couple runs and gets Idaho out of the inning. The extension by Gar. That's how it's done. Oregon up 6 0. Gar, a triumphant defensive play to end the top of the third inning out there in right field. Look at the ground he covers to rob a base hit away from Ethan Euchre. Full send for Zane Gar. That's right. I got it. And he earned a big smile from Parker Shea, who had just been taken off the mound a pitch earlier. Parker didn't have a whole lot to smile about through those two innings on the mound. Zane, due up second, getting ready in the dugout. Idaho down by six. It's Michael Went to lead it off. Check swing, no. Ball one. Eric Rothman here with you in San Bernardino. This is an elimination game between Oregon and Idaho. Winner to face Wyoming. Kelly misses that one. Outside the reach of Ben Robertson, 2-0. First plate appearance for Michael Went, who came in in a relief role to close out the top half of this inning and get Idaho out of even more trouble than they're in. Getting out of the bases loaded jam left by Parker Shea. <laughs> Kelly has only allowed one hit. He struck out two. He's only faced seven batters so far. Slow roller to the shortstop. Crew Corey, not enough time to get it to first. Corey playing pretty deep out there short. And that ball was caught up in the grass. For an infield hit. And now Zane's going to try to do it at the plate. Zane Gar, who, speaking for our entire production crew, is a fan favorite here. Zane, say, has the biggest heart on the team. Zane is autistic, suffers from severe anxiety and ADHD, and baseball is just one of his outlets of enjoyment, focus. And you see he's a pretty darn good baseball player. That defensive play, one of the best we've seen in this entire tournament. Check swing 2-0. It's 
Dad, Nate, one of the coaches on this Idaho team. And I'm sure there was nobody more excited after that catch was made. And Dad, Nate, in the dugout. Two one. Called strike on the breaking ball. Two and two to guard. Single by Wentz, just the second hit off of Chase Kelly, the lefty, who's been humming it through two innings. Swing and a miss. It's the third strikeout of the day for Kelly. And now Idaho turns the lineup over to leadoff hitter Ben Borowski with one out. And a runner on first. Borowski lined out to the first baseman. In inning number one. Grounder, left side, Corey coming over, goes to second for the force out. And they cut down the lead runner, Michael Went. With the fielder's choice, Borowski on it first, two away. Nice play by Corey. Knowing the situation. The batter, number 14, Cole Morgan. Well, slapper to the left side. And we will have, it looks like, a pitch hitter for Idaho as Don Borowski comes out with the lineup card. Idaho has yet to use any of their four pitch hitters, so they're going to start cycling them in here. Mandatory play requirements. This will be Sam Baker batting for Cole Morgan. Just 30 pitches thrown so far through two and two thirds for Chase Kelly. First pitch swinging from Baker. He's way out in front of that off-speed pitch. Kelly, pretty darn good at mixing up the pitches. Sam likes to eat healthy, likes those lettuce wraps. You got 11, you don't want too many carbs, right? One and one. Breaking ball, Kelly comes off the mound and makes the play. Kelly doing it all. Ends the third, another clean inning for him. Oregon, up by six, we move to the fourth. Hey, here in the Northwest Regional, Oregon and Idaho fighting for their tournament lives. Mentioned the mandatory play rules. Take a look at the special pitch runner rules. We're, we're cycling through them quick. Sp speed reader required to learn about all the rules. Basically, you need to re-enter in the same spot you were substituted for. And as the mandatory player requirements, every player on the bench has to get into the game at some point. And we have Crew Corey leading off the inning for Oregon. Crew. Reached on a bunt single in the first, grounded out in the second. Facing Micah Went for the first time. Strike called there on Crew. Corey is an accomplished musician as well. Plays the piano, plays the cello. Pops that one up in the center field. Borowski is under it for out number one. I mentioned those substitutions. Sam Baker, who batted for Idaho in the top half, or the bottom half of the third. He's out in left field now getting his defensive reps. 
Your attention please for Oregon. Re-entering for Smith and now batting. Number 10, Nathan Cook. Nathan Cook re-enters in the sixth spot for Oregon. His second at bat of the game struck out in the first inning. Sixth spot in the lineup has not been kind to Oregon. Nathan struck out in the first. Luke Smith struck out in the second. So Cook back in there now in the fourth. The hockey fan likes Alex Ovechkin. Ovi re-signing with the Washington Capitals. Likely to end his career there. Check swing didn't go around. One and one. Michael Wett. Look confident on the mound coming in from left field at the end of the last inning in that bases loaded situation that he got out of. Thanks to Zane Gar, defensive gem in right field. And he's ahead of the count one two here on Nathan Cook. And that one just misses off the inside part of the plate. Two and two. Fly ball in the right field. Gar going back, and he makes the play. Gar vacuuming everything up out there in right field. You can find Little League on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the official handles at Little League. Follow the action and join the conversation. Hashtag LLWS. And I am following Little League on Twitter. And you know what? I got I to gotta browbeat the guys at Little League Twitter. Zane Gar's highlight has not been on the social media streams yet. So if you're watching the game, how about we tweet at Little League World Series, hashtag give Gar some love. Look at that. I mean, if that doesn't make the Twitter account, what does? Went now dealing with Jackson Kaler. Much like Nathan Cook hit in the second inning, didn't hit in the third. Now he's back in there for the fourth, takes a strike. Reached and scored on an error to lead off the second inning. Line drive, base hit in the right field for Jackson Kaler. Keep Oregon's inning alive. Zane trying to go for another web gem, trying to gun out. Kaler down there first. Tell you what, there is nobody more alert out there in the field today than Zane Gar. Comes up firing. Oh, what's up with this guy? I thought he had him. Thought he had him. It's a single for Kaler. Beckett Hare. Reached and scored on an error in the second. Facing went for the first time now. And the count 2 0 with a runner on first and two outs. Reno now. Now Beckett Hare, big fan of Madison Bumgarner, his favorite baseball player. Also a great skier. Hare draws the walk. Single to walk, back to back for Oregon, and they're dealing now with two outs. Sturgeon, the nine hitter in the lineup for Oregon, is a ball. Multi-sport athlete as well. 
Cross basketball. And some lineup confusion here for Oregon. We've got Jackson Kaler at second, Beckett Hare at first. And Cole Sturgeon awaiting his at bat at the plate with Oregon on top six nothing. And the confusion, or the question, I guess, was to get a pitch runner for Kaler. It's a special pitch runner, Luke Smith, coming in. So Coach Chris Kelly using the special pitch runner rule. Two on, two out for Sturgeon. Strike one called by home plate umpire Ramey Brown. Sturgeon walked and scored part of the four-run second inning for Oregon. It was pitch hit for in the third. Pops that one up. Shallow right field. Here comes Gar again and another play as the circus continues out there in right. Zane Gar. That's right, big smiles for Zane. The web gems continue. The barrel Lunch is canceled today due to a lack of hustle. Well, some unfortunate news to report before we start the bottom of the fourth inning here in San Bernardino. The 4 o'clock West region game has been canceled today due to Arizona testing positive for COVID. Utah will get the win in that game, and they will advance. So now both the West region and our Northwest region here Losing a team due to a positive COVID test. Alaska was disqualified prior to the tournament starting after testing positive on Saturday. So an unfortunate turn of events for Arizona in the West region. As Idaho still looking for their first run of the game. Trailing 6-0 here in the bottom of the fourth. Colin Brazil facing pitcher Chase Kelly. Brazil struck out in his first and only plate appearance. Kelly gets the called strike on the outside corner, two and one. Brazil, big outdoor recreation kind of guy. Likes to ski, fish, boat. Takes a strike there. Two and two. Idaho is a good place to do all of those things. Eagle, Idaho, just outside of Boise. Grounder, chopper to the left side. Hare has it, but the speedster, Colin Brazil, beats the throw for the infield single. High chopper that Hare made a good play on. Just Colin Brazil hustling down the line. The previous players on a review. And it looks like we have a challenge they can do to put together some runs here. And it looks like we have a decision. And the call's overturned. Colin Brazil out at first. So Beckett Hare makes the play for out number one. Good challenge by Chris Kelly, the manager for Idaho. Or excuse me, for Oregon. 
And a strike call to Cole Keck. As Keck lined out to lead off the second, now getting his second plate appearance here. And goes through the legs. Keck had to dance out of the way. He must have learned those moves from teammate Sam Paul Freeman. Fleet of foot to get out of the way there. Swing and a miss. Keck stays alive. Kelly, only 42 pitches here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And that is exactly what the doctor ordered here for this Oregon team. It's a big consideration for every manager in this tournament is preserving the pitch count for everybody you put on the mound. As Beckett Hare makes another play across the diamond for out number two. That was really the situation that Oregon, or excuse me, Idaho faced starting this game was three ineligible pitchers already. This is their third game in three days. Cole Morgan, Cole Keck, Sam Paul Freeman all ineligible to pitch today. First pitch swinging for Chase Casagrande. Chase Casagrande, the kid they call Turtle. Oh, slow roller. Oh, it's Beckett Hare's inning. Makes all three putouts over there at third. A one, two, three, bottom of the fourth. Oregon back up and still on top in the fifth. World Series. Two tickets being punched here in the Northwest Regional. Who will be representing? Washington and Montana already in the semifinals here. This is an elimination game for Idaho and Oregon as Ben Borowski comes in and he drops it. Lead off hit for Ellis Bain. Tough play for Borowski. In his glove and out of his glove. The Little League World Series was founded in 1939 Williamsport. Maynard Little League won the first World Series in 47. I should say Little League was founded in 39. International leagues formed in 1950. And a bunt laid down here by Chase Kelly, and he legs out a single back-to-back -back base runners. Here to start the top of the fourth for Oregon. They did award Ellis Bain a single on that fly ball to center field. It's the heart of the lineup here for Oregon. Ben Robertson. They got two hits, two RBIs up to the plate. Big cut for Robertson there as Went blows it by him. Went not only two singles, but he has hit the ball hard. Two one count now. And went just trying to keep it. Idaho in this game. Came into the game trailing six to nothing when he was called in to relieve Parker Shea. He's Held off Oregon so far, but they're threatening here. The 2-2 two -two to Robertson. LaPoke, right field, Zane Gar, another put out for him. It's Zane Gar's world, and we're just living in it. And the scouting report is going to be, do not hit the ball to right field. Zane Gar. And the words of Gandalf, thou shall not pass. One away for Ethan Euchre. Yeah. 
Euchre two for three, two singles and an RBI. That one just fouled down the left field line. Euchre the cleanup hitter in this lineup, and before you ask, no, he is not related to Bob Euchre. He's down in the count 0-2 here. Smacked right up the middle for a base hit. Ellis Bain stops at third. That's a good throw from Borowski out there in center. Right on the money. And good call by Chris Kelly not to send Ellis Bain at third. Now the bases are loaded. Third hit of the inning for Oregon. And here's Crew Corey with the bases juiced. One out. Crew singled on a bunt in the first, grounded out and flo flew out in the fourth inning. It's a piece of that one, one and one. How about this for service? Crew, in his spare time last year, spent some time volunteering teaching preschool a few times a week. Liner right at Brazil. Goes over to first, threw it right into Chris Kelly, first base coach, hit him right in the stomach. Brazil makes the play. Tried to double up. Euchre over at first, and that's not fun. <laughs> that is not fun at all. <laughs> Colin Brazil thinks it's funny. Listen, something like that, arguably funny at any age, but when you're 12, about the funniest thing you're going to see all day. As long as coach is okay. Cutting coach is okay. Chris Kelly's all right. He's smiling too, walking back to first base now. Two outs and the base is loaded. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, keep your head on a swivel there, coach. Nathan Cook, bases loaded, two outs. Strike called inside corner, 0-1. Cook, grounder, right side, through the legs. Of uh, Parker Shea and two runs score. It's the sixth error on this Idaho defense. Eight nothing now. Runners at first and second for Jackson Kaler. So Jackson Kaler comes back <laughs> comes back in. Kaler looking for more. Reached on a fielder's choice and walked. A little looper into center field. That'll drop for a base hit. Here comes the runner around third. Euchre is safe. The ball squirts loose. Out of Cole Keck's glove. Good slide by Euchre. 
Good throw by Borowski. Borowski came up firing on the crow hop. Right on the money. Boy, you couldn't have placed it any better. It's just the slide hit the glove at the perfect time. Oh, you know what? It popped out before it's slide. In that angle, a little bit different. 9 nothing now. Still two outs. Cook is on third. Kaler stands at second. And this is Beckett Hare. Hare takes the ball 2 0. Hare walked. Reached on a fielder's choice. Snaps that one in the fence. 2 and 1. 9 0 lead for Oregon on 13 hits. And really helped out. Six errors by the Idaho defense. When you have four more errors than you do hits, uh, it's tough to win a ball game. Three and one. Cook ready at third. Ball in the dirt, thought about going, but instead just to walk to load the bases. And that'll bring up the ninth batter to bat here in the fifth, Cole Sturgeon. Oh, for one today at the plate. Ball one. It's been two outs for quite a while. Three runs have scored since the second out was recorded. A chance for Mighty Mouse, the nickname of Cole Sturgeon. Strike number one, Sturgeon. Great-grandfather Tom Moyer, the boxer, actually fought Sugar Ray Robinson at Madison Square Garden. In the gap, left center field. Two runs are going to score. A double and two ribbies for Cole Sturgeon. Sturgeon got a hold of that one. And it's 11 to nothing. Oregon on top. And now we are in run rule territory. Ten runs after game. Home team has to bat. That's the case here with Idaho trailing by 11. Chase Casagrande is the new pitcher for Idaho. Favorite movie, Bench Warmers. He has not been a bench warmer in this tournament. Very integral part of this Idaho team. He's been playing third most of the tournament. Good hitter. Pitching for the first time. Nothing but smiles despite being down 11 nothing, And that's what you want to see. Everybody having fun. It's not fun to lose, but come on, you're playing in the Little League World Series. Even your worst game at the Little League World Series. It's still a pretty darn good day. So we'll wrap around the lineup now for Oregon here in the fifth. This is Ellis Bain. He led off this inning with a single and a run scored. Five run, fifth inning so far for Oregon. Casa Grande working quickly. There's runners at second and third. 
second. Hare is the runner at third. Cole Sturgeon is at second. Bain's fifth plate appearance. He's got two singles in his four at bats so far. First strike from Chase Casagrande. Grounder, right side, booted. Parker Shea, safe. Error number seven on Idaho. Well, it just doesn't matter who's on the mound for Idaho in this one. The defense just hasn't been there today. So many innings kept alive by errors in the field. Chase Kelly in for his fifth plate appearance. He has reached all four times. Been walked twice, a single, a bunt single, three runs scored. Runners at first and third. And he's ahead in the count, 3-0. Winner of this one, presumably Oregon, unless something drastic changes, will be playing Wyoming. And the winner of that Wyoming-Oregon game, or whoever comes out of this one, will go to the semifinals. ESPN later this week. Kelly's done it all today at the plate on the mound. And he's on for the fifth time today. Third walk, and he is drawn, and the bases are loaded. And they're loaded for Ben Robertson. Couple singles, couple RBI for Ben Robertson on his day. And he's got the bases loaded here. Robertson, nowhere to put him. If you're the pitching staff for this Idaho team, you've given the defense performance behind you. You almost feel like you have to strike everybody out. So you start tightening up, start overthinking it a little bit. And that's when trouble can occur with the location. 3-0 the count. On Robertson. Strike one. Casagrande just looking for one pitch, one out, to get Idaho out of this inning. Grounder up the middle in the center field. One run scores, another RBI, and another hit for Robertson. 13 nothing now. So the base is still loaded for Ethan Euchre. Right up the middle again, past the glove of Brazil. Another single, another RBI. This time Euchre gets it done. 14 nothing. His fifth plate appearance here. One for four so far. Takes a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Arnold Schwarzenegger, his favorite actor. So, says Leon. Messi, his favorite 
athlete. Messi in Paris today, signing that Paris Saint-Germain contract. Popped up right side. Foul territory and not enough room over there for Micah Went. Two and two. This Oregon team, they give out a trophy after each game, the Clactastic Duck Trophy. And they might need to make a few copies of that trophy given how well their team has hit today. Swing and a miss, drop third strike. Throw down to first, ends the inning. Eight been playing here today. The winner of that will play Wyoming. Alaska disqualified with the positive COVID test. And Oregon, a chance to shut the door here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The run rule in effect, so Idaho needs five runs to stay alive. Ethan Euchre. Comes in, looking for the save. Looks like we'll have a pitch hitter in addition to the pitching change. Looks like Justin Hartnett is going to get in. Pitch hitter will be Justin Hartnett. And there's still a couple guys on the Idaho bench that needs to need to get in. Oh, so, excuse me, this is Jonah Gochner. Gochner getting his first plate appearance, the lead off the fifth. And Idaho's gonna need some fireworks here. Euchre relieving Chase Kelly. First pitch swinging. How to play, Gochner. Kelly, four innings, two hits, no runs. Gochner, why, why play in Little League? Oh, have fun, get girls. All right, you're 12, sounds about right. Ground out to the third baseman. Robertson, out number one. See, now people are going to say that's photoshopped. That's not. That is, there's some Photoshop player information that gets around the internet this time of year when Little League World Series comes up on people's screen. But not that one. Listen, John Gochner, he's very forward thinking. First pitch swinging there and a ground out for Justin Hartnett, out number two. So Idaho down to their final out. Your attention please for Idaho, entering the game for West, and now batting, number 33. Joaquin it's up to Joaquin Blaine, Blaine pitch hitter. Euchre, three pitches, two outs. Looking to shut the door. Strike number one. Oregon with the win will advance to play Wyoming. The winner of that game will move to the semifinals of the Northwest Regional. That will be on ESPN later this week. As Blaine not giving up yet. Pops that one up into right field. Fair ball. Joaquin Blaine on his horse, rounding second. Here comes the throw to third, cut off, and it's a triple for Joaquin Blaine. Uh, 
Idaho needs some more of that. The batter, number one, Zane Gar. Okay. Now Zane Gar, who has been a magician out in right field today. Needs a hit or a walk to keep Idaho's tournament alive. Struck out in his only plate appearance thus far, and a swing and a miss there. Euchre digs in. This is the plate one and one. Popped up, shallow right field. Going back is Sturgeon, and he ends the game. 14-0 the final. Oregon eliminates Idaho, and Oregon advances to take on Wyoming. 14 runs, 16 hits, helped out by the seven errors defensively by Idaho in the game. Brilliant pitching performance from Chase Kelly. Coming up next, Southern California and Nevada, the West Region. I'm Eric Rothman saying so long from San Bernardino. We'll see you tomorrow for more Northwest Regional action here at the Little League World Series.